Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Love to listen to, I am Nicole. We're here today to talk about rest and how I don't think I know exactly what it is. But wait, wouldn't it be funny if like right now I just cut to the definition of rest like we used to do in our little sixth grade um, essays? Actually, let me do that. So Merriam-Webster <laughs> defines rest in a couple of different ways. And right now, as I'm starting to film, my cat has decided to jump on a box and join us as we talk about rest. Right, kitty? Uh, cats don't need a definition of rest. Let's talk about what rest is and why I am like pretty sure that I have no idea really what it is. So let's start. Merriam Webster's, Merriam, Merriam, Merriam Webster's says rest is repose or sleep. I can actually say that I get really good sleep, but I don't feel rested in other ways. So let's see if Miriam can tell me something else. The second definition of rest is a freedom from activity or labor, a state of motionless, motionlessness or inactivity, the repose of death. I feel like that third definition, definition 2C, is a little dark. We don't, we don't want to die. We just want to feel better. We want to feel rested. Um, so obviously 2C does not uh, apply to me, <laughs> thank goodness, and, but freedom from activity or labor. I am not sure I even know what those words mean anymore. A state of motionlessness or inactivity. I have that, I think, when I am asleep. So maybe that one fits me. Three, a place for resting or lodging. Four, peace of mind or spirit. 5A, a rhythmic silence in music, a character representing such a silence, a brief pause in reading, or six, something used for support. I think definitely for me, definitions four and six are the things that I feel like I am lacking. The things that I feel like I'm searching for, the things that I feel like are missing. Like I said before, and maybe if you didn't notice with the moving boxes behind me, I recently, I recently moved. And in this new apartment, which I just like moved into very, very recently, um, I actually sleep really well. But I think that the rest that I am seeking and maybe the rest that you are seeking also is the peace of mind or spirit definition four, or something used for support. Like you can think of that as like to rest your head on your pillow, right? So in that case, the pillow is your, is your, your support, like where you can rest. But even though I sleep really well in this apartment and in general, most of the times I sleep really well, even though I'm a pretty anxious person. Um, I just can usually sleep really well, especially since I have um, permanently cured some of <laughs> some of the medical issues that that were kind of, you know, impeding some of my sleeping. But even though I like I said, even though I sleep really well, my mind it's always, it feels like it's always searching. It's always like, I'm always striving for something. I'm always like restless in my mind and in my spirit. And I am not sure why that is. I'm just making this video in case anyone else out there is like feeling like I am feeling like 
that the rest that you're seeking is not really the kind of rest where, you know, you can just take an Ambien and boom, you're cured. Or maybe if you're terribly unlucky, you feel unease and like you need rest physically like your body needs rest and your mind and your spirit like maybe you feel restless all around my heart goes out to you like definitely if you feel all of these things are affecting you but for me it's definitely in my mind and my spirit i don't know how to rest my mind i mean i know that a book would tell me to meditate, but it's to me right now because I don't have a I don't have a practice of meditation right now. It seems very much like a thing that you do out there. Like it's not a thing that feels accessible to me, even though I know technically it is accessible to me. I just feel like hey, how, how are you going to figure out how to rest? I don't, I don't know. So maybe this video is really just me talking myself into getting into a regular meditation practice. But it's also just really me trying to see if anyone else has the same problem. A lot of my life is really chill. I've set my life up in a way where I don't have a lot of drama in my life. I don't have a lot of like, you know, crazy things going on with other people that I have to constantly like think about or interact with, you know, people who mean me harm or, you know, things like that. And I'm very thankful for that. So for me, a lot of my problem is just truly in my own mind, in my own thoughts of like trying to solve yet another problem, trying to do something else on my to-do list. And today when I was in the shower, I was actually thinking like, man, I have had a to-do list, it feels like since I was like in ninth grade, maybe earlier than that. And I am now 40, getting very close to 41. And the to-do list still has things on it. How do we get to the point where there's nothing on the to-do list? And maybe the revelation is just that we stop putting things on the list. We stop signing ourselves up for things to do. We stop and by we, I mean me, definitely, I stop looking for new things <laughs> to do, looking for new problems to solve, looking for new activities to engage in, and just begin to focus on some, some of the things, at least some of the things that would make me feel a little bit at peace. I can say that I don't like, you know, even though I don't have a lot of like drama in my life, I will say that I also don't feel like I have a lot of things in my life that I do that gives me a feeling of purpose. And I think as we get older, especially that feeling of like needing purpose becomes more and more. It's kind of like a little knock at the door and then it gets louder and it gets louder and then they're beating on your door like the police. It kind of feels like maybe, you know, the police are not at my door yet, but the knocking is quite louder of like, hey, you need to be doing something, some, some things that make you feel purposeful. And I think folks that don't have children can sometimes need to be a little bit more creative with what they do in their day-to-day -day life to help give them purpose. Not saying that everybody who has children um, automatically feel a sense of purpose because as a, you know, in my line of work in the past, I have met 
lots of kids whose parents uh, were so disconnected. There's no way <laughs> that they had any sense of purpose because of, you know, their role as a parent. I'm also not saying that you need to have kids in order to have purpose. That's obviously like a total lie. And I'm definitely not saying that I wish that I had kids because I do not wish that I had kids. But I do wish that I had more things in my life going on that I was doing that I both enjoyed and that gave me purpose. And I feel like when I'm able to kind of like figure more out about like what that is, then I will feel more rested. I think it's hard maybe to rest if your soul knows that it's supposed to be like doing more stuff or doing different stuff. For me, I don't think I need to do more stuff. I need to do different things in my life that are connected to whatever my purpose might be. And honestly, right now, I don't really know what my purpose is. I'm just, I want, and I want to share that very, and be very transparent because, um, like I said, at almost 41, I think that a lot of the messaging we get would shame me. Like a lot of the messaging we get from like, movies and magazines and just general society. Um, I think that at my age, a lot of people would be like, how in the hell do you not have purpose yet? So if you are like me and you are, you know, entering your midlife time frame and you are, you don't know what your purpose is or you're seeking like new things to do that'll give you purpose. I just want to tell you that that is okay. That is totally okay. We'll be okay together. It is fine. You're going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. So yeah, this, this is my little video essay about rest and how I really believe that it is connected to your, not just your body, but definitely your mind, your spirit, your soul, like all of these parts of us make up all of us. And all of these parts have a function. And when we are not engaged in the function that gives us the most purpose, it can be difficult to rest. So drop me a comment down below and let me know what you thought about this video. What do you, what, where are you on the spectrum? Are you, are you like me where your body is rested, but your mind and your spirit are not quite there yet? Do you, or where are you? You need the physical rest. What are you, where, where are you at? Do you feel like you have lots of purpose in your life? So you feel totally set? I want to know what's going on with you. So let me know. I would love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this video, this little kind of video essay that I've shared with you. And I hope that it helped you in some way. I don't have like answers as you can see. I'm kind of right here with you on the journey, but maybe together we can, we can figure it out. So from me and my cat. Hey kitty. Hi kitty. All right, we'll see you next time. Namaste.